Today we're going to see if DJ can start these no start and huskies. DJ forgot his gloves, so he's got to call his wife to bring them back. I guess the gloves I have here aren't good enough. He must have them, you know, custom made just for his little hannies. But DJ going to do some cutting today. He's going to do some cutting with these wimpy little Husqvarna's. One's a 240, one's a 435. We'll do a little bit of a review on them. Uh, in Husqvarna's defense, one of these was a reman, and I think it was the 240, which, ironically, I like the 240 better. Uh, the power heads just aren't tough enough on them. I might have talked about this in a previous video, but I've got so many more subscribers now than I did then. It's just, <clears throat> I don't think it's redundant, but, uh, you know. Either way, we'll check these out. Go with this one first. What, the 240? Yeah, because I don't have to dick with the chain. Well, there ain't much dicking with it. You just tighten it up. Don't you know how to tighten the chain up? Yeah. All right. Now, now that 240, I will admit, is, is probably my favorite saw. Hillbilly likes the 435. I don't know why. Uh, the power head might be a little bit bigger, but either way, both of these are under three cubic inch. So... Yeah. They're pretty wimpy. They're good limmers, you know. But I think my next beastly saw is going to be a still. I really do. You know. You should get a 359 Husky. 359 or 372? Yeah, 359 is nice. Uh, cotton top. I'll get you watching him. He he does saw reviews and stuff. And uh, 372 is a kick-ass saw, though. <laughs> Probably got to go to the de There's a Husky dealer over in Waterford. And, uh. Because that's what my dad's got. Yeah. He's got a 359 and a 372 Husky. Which one does. Which ones he like better? They're both about the same. Are they? But the 372, that thing. That thing's a runner. I mean, it's a runner. Like, once you get it started? Oh, once you get her started? But, I mean, yeah, see, cutting. that's the thing. With both of these yeah. saws, with both of these saws, it's about once you get them started. They're hard starters, man. And what I you, like you got to follow the instructions And what I like to a about tee. the 372 is it's got the compression release. Yeah. That makes a difference. Yeah. All right, now push the blue hand. Yep, now push it down. You should be good. Oh, you almost had it. Prime that sucker. Needs more prime, dude. Yeah, it does. Now, when they say three times, it really means 12. Choked a little bit. <laughs> I told you, man, these are hard runners, dude. Once you get it warmed up, it'll be all right. But they are not. <laughs> <laughs> Now, mind you, it's like 28 degrees out today. <laughs> It'll grow back. He's an environmentally friendly kind of guy. I'll get comments on that. Oh, my word, you dumped two ounces of fuel out on the grass. Really? Oh yeah. YouTube, dude. 
you kidding me? <laughs> Not get comments about eating meat or... Oh, it, it's absolutely absurd. It's the fascist. We'll, we'll, we'll get comments about cutting a tree down. Well, it, the tree's been dead for five years. It needed cut down ten years ago. I mean, let them let them comment. I don't care. Boof. And just like that, we're out of work. So we've pretty much determined that bad fuel is making the chainsaws run bad. Right, DJ? Yep. What kind of fuel are we going to put in there? 50 to 1 as an all free. Now, don't get all excited, you corn farmers. These are chainsaws and lawnmowers and everything else just runs better not on corn syrup. You know, automobiles and stuff, that's fine, but not with plastic parts. I know last time I mentioned running non-ethanol, it was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And you're a crop farmer and you're going to get... I'm buying a gallon, dude. Really? A gallon. It's gonna make or break the entire commodities market. Sounds like somebody ain't wearing their seatbelt. It's you. It's you. You first. <laughs> no seatbelt wearing. Gasoline dumping. Too cold today. So DJ, last time in the video, everybody wanted to know what the fire siren was all about. You want to tell them? Or you want me to? You tell them. All right. So there's this guy, he's been running around town doing stupid stuff like, um, I don't know, stealing tractors and... Stealing chainsaws. Chainsaws and whatever. And like most stupid drug addict thieves, he was dumb enough to put it on Craigslist. And so what they did was uh, undercover set him up to meet him at Dollar General and purchase the stolen chainsaws. And when they got there... From what I hear, he got in a car, the unmarked car, and pulled a gun on the two undercovers, and they shot him. And that's what everybody's like, oh, the air siren. Well, that, was, that was a fire whistle, but that's what was going on. Oh, cool, there's somebody at the pump. That is just, that is just what dreams are made of. They probably pump parked to go in and get a cup of coffee. So we'll just chill but that's what happened um, he went up there to sell them stolen chainsaws they set him up and not only was he going to try to sell them stolen chainsaws he was going to rob them at gunpoint and they busted a cap in his ass deservingly right DJ yep so DJ what did we just spend on gas eight dollars on two and a half gallons of gas decent price decent price all right so what we did we went down and got some non-ethanol fuel to run in this and i'm going to tell you uh the can that we the, the 50 to 1 mix that we put in there was set up for two and a half gallons i put about 2.3 gallons in there i like it a little heavier than 50 to 1 Husqvarna swears, oh, 50 to 1's great. It's just fantastic. And I argued with the guy at the dealership, and he says, oh, no, it's the newer oils that, you know, really make the difference. Yeah, I ain't buying it, dude. I mean, they haven't come that far. Unless you're talking synthetic, then we have a whole new ball game. Nasty looking. All right, so we're going to try clean fuel in this, new fuel. And I think it'll make a difference. I really do. Again, this is the 240. Okay, where the hell did I put the cap? Right there beside it, dude. Oh. Right at the back of the handle.
enough for me. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go check out and see what DJ's doing here with the 240. That ain't good. No, not at all. No, it's like it's not getting enough gas. You want to try the 435? Yeah, what gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> We're shit. Oh, shit. We got the tools, but they, them tools ain't working. Yeah, you know, it's great if you're an, an idle chainsaw. Or like a haunted house or something. <laughs> Yeah, that would work real good in a haunted house. That's about it. You'd have to take the chain off it. But it's not like the chain's going to do anything anyways. As soon as it touches something, it dies. <clears throat> well, time to play with the 435. We're off to tighten that chain up. It's got that little tightener right there. Yep. 